mabuhay. I am Kian Matthew Tanding Casarinas from BSICM Wanda's One. Now present to you the 10 different tools and equipment that you can see inside our kitchen. So first, we have a sheet pan. The purpose of sheet pan if you're baking like cookies, dough, this is the perfect pan for that because sheet pan prefer for solid products. Next, we have the baking pan. Baking pan, the purpose of baking pan is for baking like liquid products like cake, brownies, or roasting like chicken because chicken releases juices and baking pan is more taller size than a sheet pan. Next, we have a saucepan. Saucepan is for small amount of sauces. It can use for, it can serve approximately one to three servings of sauces. And this saucepan is commonly used for reheating sauces. Next, we have the food processor. Food processor is similar to food grinder, but the difference between the two, food processor can make a smooth texture than a food grinder because food processor can make a texture like a paste. Next, we have a portion scale. Portion scale is commonly used for portioning products like meats, portioning like dough because portion scales has a grams, milligrams, and kilograms. Next, we have a balloon whisk. Balloon whisk is for mixing like cake batter or beating like eggs. This is for that. And if you don't have mixer and you need to make a meringue, this tool can help you. Next, we have a measuring cup. If your recipe has a cup measurement like one cup of flour, three fourth cups of cocoa, and one cup of sugar, this is for that. Now we'll show you how to use it. If your recipe has a one cup of flour, you scoop in a flour and level it. That is a one cup of flour. But if your recipe has a one cup of brown sugar pack, you scoop in a brown sugar and lightly pack it. And if your recipe has a one cup of brown sugar firmly packed, you will scoop in a brown sugar and push it harder and level it that is a firmly packed brown sugar. Next, we have a measuring spoon. When your recipe has a measurement like in spoon, like one tablespoon, one teaspoon, like for example, one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt. This is for that. Next, we have the straight spatula. This one is always I need and always I use it for frosting a cake because straight spatula is for smoothing the sides of the cake for frosting and it's preferred for the side to be smooth and I use it in measurement for leveling the measurement like this. <laughs> Lastly, we have a strainer. Strainer is you can use in like cooking sauces and there is a whole pepper or bay leaf. You need this to strain the little particles and if you're baking and if you have a you want to sift a flour, you need this to make it find it and to make it no lumps. Again, this is the 10 tools and equipments that you can see inside our kitchen. Again, I am Kian Matthew Tanding Casarinas at your service.